Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be talking about how to make your good image into a great image. And how you're going to do that, you're going to be cropping it. Now this isn't for every image, you can't make a bad image into a great image by cropping. Well, not most of the time, possibly. Your image has to be there in the first place. So if you don't already know, cropping means is taking a bit of the image out. So for instance, we could take some of this out and some of this out. And the reason we're going to do that is because usually it's the background, but in this case it's the foreground is overpowering our subject, which is Rachel, the model in this shot. And so basically what you're going to do in Photoshop, this will work in most of the version, modern versions of Photoshop, the exact same. It's going to be at least the same icon. Uh, you're going to click this. You're going to click it. <laughs> there we go. Then you're going to have these tabs here to, to work with. And when you're going to do this, you're going to notice these lines are going to come up. Now, I did very kind of good in camera, but not exactly what I want. Um, you're going to want to um, try to get a, a magnif or a, something of magnificence. Sorry, I can't speak. Something um, of magnificence in the shot or in your model or whatever is the actual subject in your shot to be in a corner of these squares on like this so in these type of corners here and that will make the image aesthetically pleasing and on a subconscious level I am not 100% sure why this is um, I'm pretty sure that they probably covered the um, reasoning for this when I went to school but I was ignoring it <laughs> but um so you're going to try to do that. Now in camera, I did I did do it. I did put her eye in that area and that's probably the reason why I had such a overpowering foreground is because I was focusing so much on that. Um, I probably should have done this in a portrait position, which would be having your camera kind of side or kind of yeah, sideways. Um, that's what portraits are. Um, and I would have got I got would have gotten rid of all this, but I didn't. So we're just gonna fix it in Photoshop. So we're gonna move this box until we get that there, and then we're gonna move this a little bit more down here, and then we're gonna move this maybe a tiny bit there, maybe a little bit up here. So there we go. So what we did here is essentially cropped it. I don't know what else you'd call it. And I focused in on her eye. On her, um, well, her right eye, I guess. Um, and yeah, so once you're done that, press the uh, check mark, and there you go. So you'll notice, first of all, when you um, look at the model for the first time, you'll notice that your eyes are more drawn onto her than something like the wall that used to be here. Uh, so if we look back at is it not gonna go? There. So first thing you're probably gonna look at, at least for me, was this big white ugly piece of the wall that does not do a single thing for the shot. And then when I put it back to here, first thing you kind of look at is kind of her. Or maybe the wall a little bit, maybe her hand, but the fact is that it's better. You draw your eye to her eventually, unlike before, and you're looking at that big white thing that shouldn't be in the shot. And that makes that makes or breaks the image is just where your eye goes the first time you see it. So that's all I want to show you. So definitely look into doing that. And you'll might notice that when you show your friends that you might notice a better response in your images if you get rid of something that draws their attention away from the thing you want them to look at. Anyway. Please, if this helped you, please press the like button. It makes my day when I see that I help someone. If you have any questions about Photoshop or about cropping or whatever else, please let me know in the comments section. If you have any more serious questions, you can always message them to me on YouTube and like my Facebook page. Anyway guys, talk to you guys later. Again, thanks for watching.